Pinas. Today, we're going to discuss kinds of sets and set relations. Again, this is Mrs. Ellie Jane Ruedas, your math teacher. But before we start with our new topic, let's have first a short recall. Name the method used in the following sets. RM if it says roster method, V if verbal description, SB if set builder notation. Let's check. Number one shows a set builder notation. Number two is a roster method. And number three is verbal description. So how many of you got it correctly? For today's objectives, we are going to determine kinds of sets and set relations. Classify the subsets of a set. Consider the diagram below. Each shape represents a set. Note that although there are no elements shown inside each shape, we can still identify how the sets are related to each other. Notice that set B and set C is inside set A. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng elements ni B at C ay elements din ni A while set D is placed outside set A. What does it mean? Very good. Lahat ng elements ni set D ay wala kay set A. First term na related kay set ay si empty set or null set. From the word empty, it is a set with no element. And the symbol for empty set is this one. Let's have an example. Set A contains mother, father, sister, and brother. Set B contains no elements. So in this case, set B is an example of an empty set. Next, universal set. Universal set is a set that contains all elements under consideration. So for example, pag sinabing set of uh, primary colors, so we have universal set red, blue, and yellow. Cardinality of sets. When we say cardinality, we're talking about the number of elements in the set. At ang symbol ng cardinality ay ito. Small letter N, then we have a quantity, then we have the set, kung ano man yung set na given. Find the cardinality of the following sets. So we have set E, the elements are weak ends. So what is the cardinality? Of course, 2. Because we only have 2 weak ends, the Saturday and Sunday. Number 2, set R, colors of a rainbow. So, find the cardinality. Very good. 7. Because we have 7 colors of a rainbow. And now, let's try. Find the cardinality of the following sets. Number 1. J contains the letters from the word Mississippi. Set A contains the months of a year that starts with J. Number 3, set N, are the Mobile Legend ranks. Set E has elements S, A, F, E. Now, let's answer. Number 1, set J contains 4 elements. Number 2, Set A contains 3 elements, and number 3, set N contains 7 elements, and number 4, set E contains 4 elements.
let us identify the difference between finite set and infinite set. Finite set is a set in which it is possible to list and count all the members of the set. It means exact. When we say infinite set, it is a set in which it is not possible to list and count all the members of the set. Continuous. Example. Finite set. Set A contains 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, hanggang 6 lang. Exact. So, kaya natin i-identify ang kanyang cardinality, which is 6. How about infinite set? Let's have an example. Set B contains 1, 2, 3, 4, and we have the 3 dots, means uh, ellipsis, continuous. Next is the difference between equal sets and equivalent sets. When we say equal sets, it is a set that contain exactly the same elements. When we say equivalent sets, sets that contains exactly the same number of elements. So this one is the symbol for equal and this one is the symbol for equivalent. Let's have an example. Equal sets. Set A contains an element CAR. Set B contains an element ARC. Set A and set B are equal sets because they have uh, exactly the same elements. Kahit pagkaiba ang position as long as same ang kanyang elements, yun ay equal. Next is an example of equivalent sets. We have set C contains M-A-T-H and we have set D contains L-O-V-E. Equivalent kasi para sila ng number of elements which is 4. Kahit hindi parehas ang elements, as long as parehas silang may apat na elements, automatic yun ay equivalent sets. The given or example of A set, all you have to do is identify if these given sets are finite, infinite, equal, or equivalent. Just answer yes or no. And black pink. The questions are, are they finite, infinite, equal, or equivalent? First, okay, finite, yes, because kaya nating bilangin yung elements, which is 4. How about infinite? Of course, no. Next, are they equal? No. Kasi yung F4, lalaki, yung black pink naman ay babae. Next, are they equivalent? Of course, yes. Kasi ang F4 contains 4 members at ang black team ay 4 members. Set A is a subset of set B if and only if every element in A is also an element in B. So lahat ng element ni A dapat ay nasa B. So this will be the symbol for subsets. Example. Set A contains A, B, C. Set B contains A, B, C, and D. So, we can say that A is a subset of B. Dahil lahat ng elements ni A makikita kay B. Proper subset. Set A is a proper subset of set B if there is at least one element in B not contained in A. So, dapat my element si B na wala si A. This will be the symbol for proper subset. Nawala lang yung bar sa baba. Example. Set A contains A, B, C. Set B contains A, B, C, and B. So, we can say that A is a proper subset of B because all elements in A nasa B. At the same time, my element si B na wala si A, which is letter B. But B is not a proper subset of A. 
Balikan natin yung example kanina. So here, we can say that B is a subset of A. And C is also a subset of A. But D is not a subset of A. Note that every set is a subset of itself. Bawat set ay subset ng kanyang sarili. Empty set is a subset of every set. Lahat ng set ay subset ang empty set. Maraming salamat muli sa inyong pananood. Huwag kalimutang i-like at i-share ang video na to. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click the bell, and get notified for my next uploads. Kapchagin na gyan na tanadyo no Nan amu maldo hal suga opsochi Chonnune pa nandanan iyaki ka널 보는 순간 이해가 됐어 매번 야야야야야 불러 널 야야야야